Hi, and welcome to True Audio with Johnny Truesdale. This is episode 12, Pro Tools Making Tracks. So what's this all about? I already know how to make tracks and Pro Tools, etc., etc., John. Well, this is a quick way to bring tracks up in Pro Tools using entirely your keyboard and not even putting your hands on the mouse to create a bunch of tracks. So without further ado, here's episode 12. All right, here we are in Pro Tools, and um, I've already made a session, and um, made a new session, and, and brought it up here just to save a little bit of time here. Um, so a common thing that I see most people when they're starting out is they'll go up to track, and they'll make new track, and, and then new track comes up, and they'll click through these examples and, and everything else. And while that's not that's not necessarily the wrong way to do things it's it's a little bit slow so let me show you first thing I would do is shift command N to bring it up I can scroll through by holding down the command key and left or right I can go mono or stereo okay now I have some other options here because I have Pro Tools HD but mono and stereo are left and right right there also if I go up or down arrows okay I can change my type of track here so command left or right arrows changes mono or stereo or other options if you have um, Pro Tools HD which are mostly surround options and up and down again is changes the type of track that we have here Okay, um, if I just want to change the amount of a track, I could just hit the up and down arrow, as you could see that changing right there. Now you say, well, well, Johnny, that's great, but I want two audio tracks and then I want some other tracks. Well, you can hold down shift and command and down, it will give you a new set, starting on the number one, mono audio track, and you can go from there you can go stereo aux as well and you can do another one and do stereo master fader as well now all of these and you can go backwards the other way as well so if you wanna you wanna get rid of it you just hit the up arrow as well so down arrow shift command down arrow makes a new track but to get rid of that track, you go up arrow the same way. So let's put that back. We'll do stereo master fader as well. And then we just hit the enter key and they'll come up. So that's it. Uh, it's really simple. This one's a short one this week, but practice using those key commands. I'll put those key commands up on the screen. You'll see them in it, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll see you next week. Uh, I believe next week we're going to go over some stuff in the edit window. So uh, until next week.